Sir. Uh, time now is 13 minutes past eight here on the Radio Wemo Breakfast. You're listening to the Radio Wemo Breakfast, only on Kiwi. Well, let's catch up with um, Ariel Alley's on the move this morning, uh, though hopefully stationary. Uh, no, I'm not stationary. I'm I'm moving and I'm in my hands-free car oh. kit there, Wemo. Obeying the rules. Good on you. Obeying the rules. Always obeying the rules. We don't want to be naughty now, do we? No, we don't. <laughs> No, don't want to be don't want to be naughty. You don't want to. Um, those... like, there's a bit of a um, bit of a subtly blast hitting us down here today, which is quite good because that means it'll be clear in the air for the rest of the week. Yeah, it's been quite warm in Canterbury over the past week, isn't it? I I, I saw uh, 27 degrees being the high one day. Yeah, no, it's been a couple of hotties. There's no doubt about that. And the water temperature. I went out for a um a small a small surf last night, just on dark. And I tell you what, the water degrees went up like. It's been went up like two degrees. I think it's sitting on a on a on a on a tempered thirteen now, Wemo. Well, that's got to be good. Hey, what what do you think the chances are of um, seeing some icebergs Canterbury Way again? Oh, oh, fantastic! Oh, no doubt about it. I think we're going to see more and more uh, icebergs every year. There's, uh, yeah. you know, mind you, it's been a couple of years since one came through, but I'm sure I'm sure further down the coast, around the Catlins and those places, you've been, they're, they're, they're going to be, well, they, well, they take don't they take like twelve months for them to actually just circumnavigate the, uh, the the earth before they actually come in. So the ones that we see this year are ones that were released last year. That that's correct. Yeah, they they reckon there yep. is there is a big one that could possibly be on the way if it gets on the right uh, on the right current. Oh, fantastic! Mm. Imagine that. That was good. You know, the the one that won a couple of years ago. They definitely. You know, I think there were people even taking helicopter flights down and landing on. Yeah, it. you can land on it. In fact, um, I believe uh, that silly old sheep Shrek was uh, Sean. On one of those icebergs, quite bizarre. Oh, really? Yeah. Again? Yeah. yeah. Mind you, you know, he was Sean for the first time in what was it like five years? But I guarantee you get Sean every year now, and it becomes quite a you know quite a, a, a feat. But speaking of shearing sheep, Wemo, yeah. Well, of course, it's all about shearing sheep this week in Canterbury. It is. Yeah, the A and P show is on. So, uh, everyone from all over the South Island is bringing their their, their prized beast to town to show them off to the general public and see who's got the best sheep and who's got the best cow and who's got the best horse and all the other things that are going on. Will, will, you, be, will you be going along to have a look yourself? Mate, you won't see me even close to it. <laughs> what, what, you know, well, I, I should go along there with you know, my agricultural background, but um, at the end of the day, when I, this, this, the, I, will, but I, will go, I will go along on Tuesday to um, New Zealand Cup Day at Eddington Raceway. That's, all, that's where everyone goes along and rocks out with their frock out. Yeah, now, now explain to, to the rest of New Zealand, because uh, it's always, that's always kind of puzzled me. Now, I've been, been to the Cup Day, which is this, this Tuesday thing tomorrow, but then you've also yeah, got yeah. The, 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 the public holiday, Canterbury anniversary on the Friday, and there's also racing on that day. But what's the difference between the two? Well, one's one's the trots where they where they have um, where they have the uh, where, where they race behind it with the buggies on, and that's on Tuesday. And then on then on Saturday, it's actually Saturday at Rickerton. They have the gallops where that's where they sit on the horses. Right now, which one do you prefer? Oh, I don't really I don't really give two hoots about the horses. It's all about the the the, the, yeah. the, 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 the bits that go around the edges of it. Okay. All right. Just uh, that, that's on the periphery, really, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. If you yeah. go, and, if you go and put a couple, you know, a couple of dollars on the nags, you know, goes well. But I went, I went and actually placed a bit on the uh, Melbourne Cup, la- Cup last Tuesday, and one thing for sure, I wasn't a winner. No, no, it's a lottery. It is a lottery. You don't really have to know anything about the horses or the race itself. No, no. But there's, um, I, I actually, I'm, I'm doing a little bit of research for Tuesday, and I, I do, I, I think, I, I think I might have a winner this year, Wham. Yeah. I've been watching a couple of horses and. I even got on the old internet. I tell you what, it's very good for you know doing background research on what nags is doing what these days. So um, hmm. there's a couple of winners there. And of course, I'm not going to tell you who they are because then 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 they'll become too favourite. I'm not going to win much money. Now, will you be putting a frock on? No, I won't be rocking out with my frock out. I'll be uh, I'll be definitely adorning the suit and a little bit of a flash hat and and some nice polished shoes and and wander, wandering around and having a having a couple of that, that one. But I, I do want to share something with you, Wham. I had a fantastic weekend. Yeah, tell me about it. I went down to um went down to friends Joseph Glacier, which is about a oh sort of like a four and a half five hour drive out of Christchurch. You know, mm-hmm. across the plains, over the over the mountains, and down 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 the down the coast and um. There's a, there's, a, there's a new little resort, a uh, little resort there called T Y Nui, and definitely you know get your Google out and and, uh, and suss it out. But it's sort of like a eco lodge that's put in the middle of St. Joseph, but it's built in a square, and then in the middle it's got this amazing sort of bush in the middle there, and you know birds chirping, and they've managed to build this hotel without touching any of the bush, which is which is. 
super, which is amazing. But That's they nice. got up there and, and they went for a walk up to the, the glacier and hung up there, went for a, a bit of a horse trek and bits and pieces. It was very yeah. relaxing. And, uh, you know, I haven't been to France, Joseph, for years. When was the last time you, when was the last time you were on France, Joseph? Uh, just under two years ago. It was a sort of New New Year's, two years ago. Um, yeah, yeah, we was doing a bit of a trip from um, uh, from you know, around Wanaka. Went to um, went to one of the big Lake Hawia gig there, and then travelled up the west coast and stayed stayed at Fox, but travelled through Franz Joseph. Yeah. Oh my God, you are you are good. Well, you it's, are it's good. I, 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 the west coast of the South Island, very special place for me. Just to, to yeah, feel, no, feel very at home. No, it is, it is an amazing spot. So, I um, you know, if you if you ever if you ever stuck up there and you know, or stuck somewhere and you want to go somewhere new, definitely get down to Francis Joseph for the weekend. It was uh, it was it was awesome. But I did have one complaint. You know, as much as you got your highs, you have your lows these days, and that was the fact that as I was hiking up to the glacier, which is about a you know a half an hour hike up from uh, from the road up into the the, the terminal where where it all where it all stops, it's just the amount of helicopters. It was absolutely yeah. phenomenal. Here you are in this. Heritage Park, you know, yeah. running around and you think you're in the in the midst of nature, and you've been you've been zapped by helicopters left, right, and centre, zooming tourists up there. So I'm going to have to ring someone and do something about that today, Wams. Yep, just tell them to stop. I suppose make a, make me yeah, make a couple of calls, but um, yep. you know, but but. Apart from that great week, short week, and um, I'm actually up to, I'm going to get out there. I'm going to go up to Kaikoura this weekend because oh, I figured yeah. that every that everyone's going to you know come down here, so I might as well go up there and pitch the tent and catch some cray and get some get some surfing and, and roll from there. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be uh, we'll, we'll be kind of in the same hood, not not too far away. I'll be in Hamna. Oh, you're just over the hill. Mm, I'll be soaking in the pools. Um, pr- planning on a little bit of salmon fishing, perhaps as well. Oh, a bit early for the salmon, mate. A bit early for the oh, salmon. Okay. No, they, they they won't start running until about early December if you're lucky. Oh. But um, but uh, it's it's definitely the the even the white bait are a wee bit slow on the east coast this year. But oh. um, but uh, but it's a bit of raisin action, eh? Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess I think, yeah. I suppose I might see some sunlight. But you my, might see some sun. Might find, there find and, myself a good book. You do that, but remember, it's very hard to read the book in the hot pool, Wemo. <laughs> I'll just, yeah, yeah, you're right, probably, you'll, yeah. You'll be right. Hey, we'll have a great weekend, love your work, and um, we'll see you on the other side. Sounds good. See you, Ariel. Okay, cheers. Ariel L. Yeah, looking forward to um, the short working week in Canterbury. Here is the Parallel Dance Ensemble.